He's Nicholas Bashford. Just a real quick one before I do the main one. Video, that is. Now, yesterday we did a, a video about RAM usage between XSE and KDE. Me thinking that some of you would have watched that video on Kubuntu and we'll look at how much RAM it uses and why it's so low. I was wrong, of course. Somebody didn't. But hey, we'll get to that. So, the video we was doing here was here. So, this is the main video here. I've got X I've got XSE running because it's Ubuntu. <clears throat> And I've got HTOP and BPY top. And we're just going through about the RAM usages and what happens when you open different programs and how much it uses. Now, okay, that's the first bit. So I've had a couple of comments in the description, of course, down the bottom, <clears throat> that I haven't replied to yet. So I thought, well, I'll reply in a video at the same time. Now, here we go. The first, I've not mentioned any names, so if you want to go and see their names, you can go and have a look. It's up to you. So the first one is, this makes it a bit bigger so you can see. That's a bit too big. Right, this guy says, mm, I do know him actually, not personally, but from Linux and YouTube, the memory usage tests are not very useful in my honest opinion, especially as some apps reserve memory, but don't use it. So the kernel itself like to take more memory and reserve it. That's why Android on a way smaller memory footprint shows full usage almost always. Real life performance can hardly be measured this way or even a desktop using more memory can perform quicker if memory runs out. Yes, of course. But that's not what we was doing, okay? We were just seeing why we use these programs and why we want a lower RAM usage. The main reason for me is you might have a rogue program that's just eating your RAM and eventually will crash the system. But yes, you are quite right in what you say. Most programs do take a big chunk. Uh, LibreOffice doesn't. It just doesn't. As you see in the, in the actual program and the testing we did when we opened LibreOffice Calc. So yeah, the next one was this is a funny one. Okay, one, two. You didn't show Ubuntu's usage. No, because I thought you would have seen the video before. But you were also quite right. I'm not arguing with you. I'll make that keep that in mind for the next time. But yeah, you're quite right. But <clears throat> if I just open, I will open it up on this pro on this one here, and you'll see what I mean. Remember, I'm recording at the same time. So if I just Pop up page top, okay. I'm using the two gig of RAM, and that's just recording. I've got nothing else open really apart from the image viewer and page top, okay. This this version here, uh, GNOME or GNOME as I call it, just doing nothing is just under a gig, okay, just under. So it swings and roundabouts really, but some programs, as you did see, will just take loads, and once you start opening them tabs in Chrome, guys. Well, and a Firefox, it looks like you're going to quickly run out of it. Well, I won't. I've got 32 here. But normally we'll quickly run out of that. So I thought we'd just clarify all that. So hope you got that one. Sneaky links out. See you in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.